वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगमेंट में अभी थोड़ी मुलाकात करावे गैरी थानी जेडे कि जेनेसिस फैमिली इंपावरमेंट सर्विस काम करते हैं अच्छ एक बड़े ही इंट्रस्टिंग टॉपिक से अभी गलबात करा जिस के आम तौर पर समाज में असं ये कहेंदे तो हाँ कि औरत मर्दा च कोई फर्क नहीं है लेकिन की ये वाक्य ही वर्क प्लेस या घर या सोसायटी में वेखन मिल रहा है जेडे मेल प्रिवलेज का असी अधिकार जमा के गल करते हैं कि इसका रिजल्ट हो रहा है कि इसके रेमीफिकेशन ने और इस बारे कोई चर्चा करते हैं गैरी थानी इंग्लिश में गलबात होएगी तो उस तो बाद इसलिए जो ये कहेंगे ब्रीफली मैं जरूर सम अप करके तो तक वापस आऊँगा वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू सो टुडे इन द सोसाइटी व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट यू नो वी आर एन ओपन सोसाइटी वी आर एन इक्वल सोसाइटी इज इट एग्जैक्टली दैट वे और इट्स जस्ट लिप सर्विस विच वी आर गिविंग एंड एंड मैन मेल आर जस्ट कंटिन्यू टू ग्रैप टू दोज प्रोवेज I think we're better than we were many many years ago mm-hmm. in terms of the uh, uh, the difference or the gap between men and women and right. how they're treated in society but mm-hmm. there is still a, a long way to go mm-hmm. there's a lot of jobs that are equal in terms of responsibilities but where men are paid more mm-hmm. a lot of the jobs that are more historically women's jobs like right. teaching or nursing have typically been i feel uh, they're often underpaid for the amount of work they do mm-hmm. so there's still a long way that we can go mm-hmm. so when we talk about the male privileges as such it's the 21st century no doubt man has always been dominant and he continues and wants that uh, thing to continue but on the other hand like what we are seeing now in the universities it's opposite mm-hmm. more women more girls are going into the universities and ultimately in the next uh, few years things will be different so then how can one say that uh, till today you know still man is uh, you know having a privilege as compared to women you know i think it's uh, the the kind of the saying that old habits die hard <laughs> there's been it's been going on for so many years centuries right uh, millennia mm-hmm. that uh, it's it's a, something that is difficult to change right uh, it's going to be it has been anyway a slow process mm-hmm. but you're absolutely right as as women take on more of those roles mm-hmm. that were traditionally men's roles uh, the the power shift may change right but there's still there's these uh, as you mentioned there are going to be men who often cling to those traditional roles right. and and we often will say well that's that's just me I'm a man and that's that's how things are right well each gender has its own attributes the masculine and the feminine attributes mm-hmm. now having worked with both the genders if you could just uh, tell us a little bit about how both can learn from each other instead of just trying to have those kind of uh, in quotes privileges in their minds mm. uh, coming out of that uh, uh, you know misconceptions which we have put in our minds and then actually work together to make a better workplace to make a better home how can that be done i think we we need to be honest with each other and i've talked to lots of men who who feel very confined mm-hmm. that they have to be a certain way that they right. have to be rough and strong which is fine but that they can't maybe express their emotions or feel mm-hmm. you know or talk about what's going on for them so they keep it in and they hold it in and that will hurt them that will hurt them physically it will hurt them emotionally by keeping all those things in mm-hmm. uh same thing for women for they may be expected to be very prim and proper or that's how they've been raised mm-hmm. and again that can be a very limiting thing so we need to look at um the full range of of um skills and emotions and mm-hmm. be able to express those and talk about those right and get an understanding of each other so okay so maybe this this female has been raised a certain way mm-hmm. I, i i as a male have been raised a certain way but if we're going to try to understand each other mm. then we we have to have that open dialogue and the same thing with myself and another male right. uh and i think again it's okay like it's not a big deal i mm. i accept that i've had certain privileges right. doesn't mean i'm a bad person mm-hmm. i think if we're going to continue to do that right. uh that that could be a concern but if mm-hmm. we can admit that yeah there's certain times that we've kind of been able to get away with certain things because of uh our gender right it's okay as mm-hmm. long as we're committing to make a change for the future but societal thinking in terms of for example men do not cry men do not do this mm. women don't do this or they have to do this that kind of thinking over the years is it changing or still it is still embedded in our deeply into our minds 
it is changing over mm -hmm. time, but again, if someone was raised that way to kind of hold their emotions in, or they were told that, okay, if they're angry or frustrated, then you know, go have a drink or something, mm -hmm. uh, that's when it obviously it becomes so much bigger of a problem. Right. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna say, because we talk a lot about our community, I've worked with a lot of folks from our community, mm -hmm. and it, it, maybe there was a time it made sense. In India, when there was a, it was more farming and rural, uh, the, the man was working outside the house, the woman was working in, they were right. equal work, but mm -hmm. they were doing different things. And sometimes then when people come here, suddenly it's not farming, now both people are working. Right. Um, you know, maybe they're living in a townhouse, so there's no real work to do outside. Mm -hmm. And that's when it's a problem when we've talked to some of the men where they expected things to continue the same way, the way they right. might have been raised or their mm -hmm. grandparents raised their parents who then, you know, it was kind of passed down. Right. But our circumstances have changed so much. Right. And so it's not fair, again, and that's that honored privilege to kind of think, well, I'm going to work, right. but then she's going to also work, work because we both have to. Work and also look after the home and do everything yes. from home also. Yeah, we have to be realistic. Right. And we know that even when you have children for a father, mm -hmm. to be involved with your children's life will give them such huge advantages emotionally right. Right. that we need to do those things. So we have to recognize the current situation, mm -hmm. recognize what we're learning from, you know, from uh, research that says how important it is to be involved in our kids' right. lives and how important it is to be uh, showing a love and affection and mm -hmm. be able to or be willing to break out of that, that box that's been mm -hmm. uh, um, put upon us. So that thinking of uh, thinking out of the box, is it uh, prevalent more now in our newer generation? I think it's starting. Mm -hmm. I think it takes people just kind of saying yes. That's right. that's kind of how I was raised, but mm -hmm. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. uh, we do again see a lot of folks who are maybe newly married or in relationships mm -hmm. where they're having some of these struggles, and that's when they're starting to realize, okay, a lot of these struggles are because of the way I was raised. It's right. not all bad. There's a mm -hmm. lot of good there, but some of these these uh, belief systems that I have to be able to challenge. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your perspective. Thank you. Thank you. So, today we talked about Gary Thandi, which is the gender biases that we are doing, that the men who are understanding that they don't have any privileges, are changing. Today, the situations are changing. In that way, there is no doubt that the men who are doing 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 the men. And it doesn't mean that this is just a thought of the men who are doing 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 the men. Overall, the change in society, the women are also taking their own responsibility. सो so, कार्बेज जे हर्ट बाजार देना आता उस दिवस कोई मर्दान की कोई कमी नहीं आएगी आ, कुछ मदद कर देनी कर दे बेच उस नाल आ, कुछ फर्क नहीं पाएगा क्योंकि जेकर एक स्ट्रॉंग फैमिली यूनिट ऐसी स्टैबलिश करनी है तो उस बेच मर्द ते औरत दोनों दा ही योगदान होना पाएगा वर्कप्लेस होवे या कार होवे उस बेचे सोच बेच परिवर्तन ले आंधी जरूरत है ताकि सीख चंगे समाज दी सर्जना कर सकिए